It's time, time for the, the next, next part, part of our journey. journey. I think it's time for a story. I got this. How about, once upon a time, there was a little baby Peter and Yen. Uh, maybe not that far. <laughs> <laughs> what about... Peter and I moved to New Zealand with our families when we were little kids. We grew up here in beautiful Aotearoa and we've always loved it. Fast forward to our adulthood, we met each other in university through our mutual friend and we've been stuck together like sticky rice ever since. Neither of us were particularly gifted academically, but one thing we shared in common was our drive and determination. Our hustle game was strong. We got into the workforce, invested and saved our money, then eventually bought our first home together. We'll save our love story for another video one day maybe, but basically we got engaged, had the best wedding ever, and all the while we kept working and progressing in our respective careers. But, yep, there's always a but. I've spent the last 13 years working in places like this. I remember saying to myself on the first day of work 13 years ago, this is not what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. Purpose. It's different for every single person and not everyone is going to be able to find theirs but I've been lucky enough to have known mine from a very young age and that purpose is to be free. What's made me even luckier is that Yen has always supported my dreams wholeheartedly. Little by little, step by step, Yen and I worked, not just to work, but work towards chasing freedom. Just like any life-changing event, the beginning is always the hardest, and even though it seemed like an impossible mountain we needed to climb, we always persevered, because when you really believe in something, you don't give up. We used working our 9 to 5 as fuel to continue chasing the goal and along the 13 years our dream changed slightly and travelling the world and seeing and trying new things became a massive part of our definition of what freedom meant to us. We had been saving for such a long time so we realised that financially we could actually do this. So Peter and I took a good hard look at what was holding us back from truly reaching our freedom. Well, on the one hand, there was our home that we had worked so hard to save and buy for and make it our own, so we sold it. And then that just left our jobs, really. So we both resigned. For me, it was bittersweet. On the one hand, it signified the beginning of a new chapter of our lives, but on the other, I had to say goodbye to the company and the great colleagues that I've been working with for so long. But it was the final step for us to let go in order to begin this new journey. And as for Peter... At this point, I can't even begin to explain how good it feels to finally be able to take off this 9 to 5 close. It's been so many years of relentless hard work and effort. But once and for all, I can finally take off this costume and just be myself. So before Yen and I set off on this adventure, we had to take you around our home, New Zealand. We're truly blessed to have been able to grow up here in Aotearoa. It's shaped who we are, our views on life, and brought Yen and I together. Living here, we realized time isn't promised to anyone. To us, time is the most precious resource of all, much more than money or any material things. The main reason why Yen and I quit our jobs is so that we can dedicate our time creating lasting memories with our friends, our family, and of course, with each other. People always say you only get one opportunity at living a life without regrets. But how many of us really do it? These are meant to be the best years of our lives, and we're going to make every moment count. We know the route we chose will be difficult at times, but almost anything that's worth it in life is hard. Exploring the world Learning about other cultures, creating and sharing happy moments together has always been at our core and we simply love food and traveling. To us, trying dishes, especially from other countries, is a great first step in understanding different cultures. What we found is that at the end of the day, we're not all that different in showing an appreciation for the food you've been served, expressing gratitude and love towards others, is a common language understood by all. So 
guys, the next time you see us, we're gonna be overseas. I can't believe this is finally happening, yeah. but a huge thank you goes to all of you. We can't believe how many times that we've sat there thinking, can we actually really do this? <laughs> Are we actually gonna turn this whole YouTube thing into a... Full-time thing? Yeah, and <laughs> it's a lot to do with all the love and support that you guys have given us, that we're kind of finally like, yeah. I think we can do it. We can do it, so. Wish us luck. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all of you who've been watching. Thank you all of you who've commented. We really, really do appreciate all of you. And we hope that you'll enjoy this next part of the journey together with us. And we'll catch you on the next episode. See ya.